This is a case of a 78-year-old woman with a history of recent T6 vertebral body fracture. The patient developed new onset of loss of power bilaterally to lower limbs and a reduced anal tone. Additionally, treated for Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia and the main concerns of the clinicians was a cord, spinal cord compression due to either worsening of the T6 uh, fracture or discitis or vertebral abscess. So MRI scan was performed. Let's see the findings. Let's start from the T2 turbospinaco image. As you can see, there is loss of height of the vertebral body and inhomogeneous uh, signal intensity. There is also obvious uh, retropulsion and spinal canal stenosis. At this level, we can see that there is pathological signal intensity, there is a high signal intensity, and intracanal findings as well. The contour of the spinal cord is obscured. Let's zoom in to see the findings. You see the contours of the spinal cord are very smooth here, but we lose them at this point and a little bit above. T2 turbospinaco in a transverse plane. We can see the paravertebral soft tissue pathological signal, slightly hyper intense. All this area, particularly on the right side, comparing to the other levels, a bit lower, we can see the smooth contour of the and uh, the normal appearance of the paravertebral soft tissues and the normal appearance of the intracanal structures. Now let's go upwards and see the differences. Here the uh, inflammatory changes start here and here and goes on. Another interesting point is that if you can see the spinal cord is normal down here but as we go upwards to the level of the fracture of the T6 vertebra, we can see that there is deformity of the right aspect of the spinal cord. And here is spinal canal stenosis. That means that something pathological is here. The deformity continues upwards and now the spinal cord and at uh, some level normalizes again. Okay. This is a stir sequence and we can see the fracture, the loss of height of the T6 vertebral body and the high signal intensity which represents edema and or inflammatory process. This is the stair sequence. We can see the edema.
the bone marrow edema and uh, the edema in the paravertebral soft tissues as well as the intracanal pathology this is the T1 turbostinecho sequence and here is the fracture of the T6 vertebral body we are at the level of the T6 vertebral fracture in a transverse plane in post contrast images and here we can see the collection in the spinal canal the deformity of the spinal cord and the paravertebral soft tissues inflammatory changes as well as another collection which is here just follow my arrow to see the collection in the right vertebral soft tissues so we have two collections the one is the intracanal collection and the other is the uh, paravertebral collection sagittal view of the post contrast T1 turbospinecho at the level of the T6 vertebral fracture we can see the collection it is measuring approximately 6 cm approximately 6 by 2 centimeter as you can see the peripheral the peripheral enhancement as well and the intracanal collection is uh, better identified in the transverse plane here it is and it is surrounded by enhanced rim as you can see dear friends thank you for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel see you the next time